Hello everybody, welcome back to Coaches Co-Creating, episode eight. My name's Jasmine and I'm a co-active transitional life coach. And my name's Amanda and I'm a co-active business coach. And today we're going to talk about transformative change. So we thought the easiest way to talk about this subject, because it's quite, it's quite evolved, is um, talk about to define transformative change. We're looking at what the opposite of it is. So the change that we sort of see in our everyday um, lives uh, would be, we would describe that as incremental change. Now, to me, incremental change is where, you know, sort of it's like drip feeding change. You know, if you imagine a glass of water and you're dripping water into it, it doesn't actually change effectively the body of water. Um, so I would say it's kind of safe change, practical ways of, of um, steps to change. Um, um, pretty easy, simple. What would, would you add anything to that? I think, I think yeah, like you said, um... I think it's like maybe small habits. I don't know how yeah. it has to be small, like small actions or habits that maybe like a, a new habit, maybe, um, I don't know, going to the gym once a day. Yeah. I think yeah. those kinds of things would be incremental. Yeah. I, in the long form video, I talk about mm. the fact that I've started increasing the amount of water that I'm drinking mm. in a day as well. And that's yeah. kind of an incremental those kinds change, of things. An example, yeah. isn't it? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Whereas yeah. um, transformational change is something else, isn't it? Yes, yeah. So do you want to expand on that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess, um, yeah, transformational change is, for me, is when you have a shift, maybe um, a realisation about um, a limited belief that you've had for, for, I don't know, your whole life. Um, it's just like when you have that aha moment, and you're like, wow, and something just changes inside you and, um, and then everything around you changes. Yeah, so something inside you changes first and then outside of you changes. So yeah, like a shift, a shift in mindset. So, yeah, so it's, what you're talking about is actually the change is within at least yeah. at first yes exactly so it's within us first exactly. before exactly. we do anything with it yeah maybe we, we realize something and i think those changes happen you know maybe if we're asked powerful questions like we do with the coaching or mm. do different exercises and you just suddenly realize wow i've been thinking this my whole life and it's it's not true or it's not even serving me and you just let it go and it's just all in that moment it all changes yeah. yeah and i think you said earlier as well though that the change can actually come over time or it could come after the yeah. coaching session and oh, yeah. we often say don't we that most of the coaching actually happens <laughs> outside of the coaching yeah. session doesn't it because that's when the client goes away starts thinking about it and percolates it and it wow. can then become the aha moment can often be outside of that framework can't it exactly um, and like you said it could take it could take a second it could take a day it could take six months yes it could yeah. even be a year it could be however long you know so have you got any examples of, of transformative change that you've undergone yourself well I, like i was saying in the other video i think um i think i'm going through a transformation now uh i right. think i'm in the middle of it yeah i really feel like it um and it's kind of hard to explain because i'm in the middle of it but i know that things are really changing inside me like I know that um, I'm transforming and I'm changing and I think that's due to the certification and the training with CTI I really do in all the exercises I've had the coaches I've had sessions with and even our conversations you know um, mm. yeah and I feel like I'm in the middle of this change um, sounds really powerful it is actually, it is. I mean, sometimes it's kind of difficult as well because it, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, you know? Yes, yeah, um, yeah. and it's, it's hard to put words that, to it. Yeah. I was just about to say that's the one thing that you, you kind of don't realise when it's, when it's so transformative that it, it, it can be very disturbing in terms of 
you know you're you're knocking out limiting beliefs that you've held for such a long time yes 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 and we were talking earlier about the fact that if you are literally rewiring your brain to think differently and you know sort of dispel all of these earlier sort of um long held beliefs that you had it's going to take some time to do that but also you can expect to feel very tired as a result of it and it can be very um it can be very disorientating can't it because you feel you know you're going on to a different path and and that in itself can be very scary can't it Mm. and actually even having this conversation now is really reassuring that kind of helps as well with the whole yeah change yeah yeah just knowing that is it's expected and it's normal you know yeah and yeah. I mean that it would it, you know be remiss of us not to say that you know one of the, the core po- components of the the CTR model is to evoke transformation so a coach's wow. job is to to do that yes. isn't it to, yeah exactly to facilitate it, if you like you know and mm. and and I think you know you said about open questions and and powerful questions and you know, prodding people where they're maybe not so comfortable mm-hmm. talking about subjects, that's where you can really evoke that, yeah. that change. No, exactly. So have you had any experiences before we end it? Um, of powerful um, transformations? Yeah, I've had quite a few actually, but <laughs> whether we've got time for it all now, I don't know. Um, we are, I think one of the, the examples I gave earlier was quite a big one, which was when I'd had my uh, first baby and yeah, um, something changed inside of me and wow. um, my whole values changed in terms wow. of what I wanted for my life yeah. and so it, it ended yeah. in me um, relinquishing quite a high powered job and taking a part time role wow um, exactly but that was something that happened really quickly it was almost like I was guided to do it so I, I didn't kind of doubt it Um, And it was about aligning with my values. And I know that now I know that that's what was guiding me because I knew that I was in conflict and it wasn't, I was unhappy as a result. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's so interesting. I think that's all we have time for today. So um, if you have any other questions and you're interested in a free consultation with me, um, please visit www.withnava.com. And equally, if you're interested in working with a business coach and mentor, please message me, uh, drop me a a DM, uh, or you can visit my website, which is happycoach.co.uk. Thanks, Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.